everyone. Thank you for joining me tonight. I am Tanya Zeliger, Director of Magen Georgia Center. I am practicing psychotherapist, infotherapist, hypnotherapist, and certified practitioner of Canton Method of Cellular Cleansing. Today we are going to talk about forgiveness. Forgiveness in what is one of the key elements of a healing process and restoration of self. My favorite definition of forgiveness came from Mark Twain. He said, forgiveness is a fragrance that the violet sheds on the hill that has crushed it. Why forgiveness is so important? Because when we have resentment or other negative feeling toward a person or circumstance, that feeling is stored in the cells of our body, potentially creating blockages and illness. I imagine it as a piece of dirt within us. And only we can clean these pieces out and restore ourselves to health and balance. In general, negative feelings and emotions are low-level vibrations that we store in our body. During our lifetime, we can accumulate a lot of negative feelings and emotions. If we don't clear them out, don't release them, they can create blockages and illness in our body and lower our overall vibration. In a sense, this process dims our light and distorts harmony and balance within us. When we are born, for the most part, we are like the sun, with all rays shining and open. As we go through life experiences, we may close some of these rays and diminish our brightness. Every time we go into low-level vibrations, our light becomes less bright, and vice versa. When we experience high-level vibrations, we are shining more and more, we become more radiant. What are some of the reasons that we get upset or keep grudges against others? It can be expectation that the person will think and act in a certain way that will match our ideas and way of thinking. It may be thinking that we know better than anyone else. Or our inability to allow others to make mistakes and act on their free will. No matter what the reason for our upset is, when we go into low-level low vibrations, it creates problems not only for our physical health, but on the emotional levels and for our life situations as well. When we are upset with someone or something, we have negative thoughts and feelings. We can feel energetically drained if negativity continues for a prolonged period of time. And that in itself can make us sick due to stress and lowering of the immune functions. Let me share with you an example of how things we had can play out in some situations. I had a client who came to me asking for help with her health. She had problems with her ears. She took steroids and antibiotics and the doctor said she was okay now, but she still had a lot of discomfort in her ears that diminished her hearing. As we talked about what happened prior to her developing ear problems, she shared that she was angry with her husband for constantly complaining and being unhappy during their vacation. She did not like their vacation and was constantly unhappy. At some point, she wished she did not hear his complaints, which were spoiling her mood and their vacation. Very shortly after that, as she was swimming in the ocean, the big wave came over her and hit her in the head. Her ears were full of water. She developed inflammation and infection, and it affected her hearing. She got her wish she could not hear her husband anymore. She was still mad at her husband and now felt really bad physically. She said the rest of her vacation was ruined because of this incident. As we continued talking, she understood that she probably attracted that situation and several negative events after that, that the universe was fulfilling her wish of not hearing her husband. She saw now it, how it was all connected to her getting angry with her husband. She chose to go through the forgiveness process with me during the session. Her ears started to get better very shortly after the session, and she called me in a few days stating that her ears were totally fine now, 
and she also felt totally in peace in relation to her husband. Remember, we attract people and situations into our lives based on our vibrations. When we are in a negative mindset, we will attract more of negative situations into our life, creating more upset and hardship for ourselves. I see it as clouds in the sky. Imagine when we have negative feelings and emotions, it is sent into the universe as a dark cloud, and it attracts similar dark clouds. And now, instead of just one dark cloud, we have a conglomerate of dark clouds above us, which giving us a lot more negative energy and creating problems in our life. So what can we do to stop the cycle of negativity and raise our vibration to stay healthy and attract harmonious people and situations into our lives? One thing that we can do is to forgive and release people and situations that we consider negative in our life. Forgiveness is a choice that each one of us needs to make for ourselves. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting things or condoning negative behavior. It does not mean loving others. Forgiveness means letting go of the negative information we stored in ourselves about certain people and situations. For me, forgiveness means clearing out and bringing into harmony and balance our body, emotions, our aura, and the relationship with the outside world. It is transition from negative state into positive. It is about us becoming free and whole. Forgiveness process is all about us. It is not about another person. In fact, once we truly forgive someone, our relationship with that person will change. It will change because our vibration will change. We will become, in, in a sense, a different person. So either our relationship with this person will improve or that person will be gone from our life. Either way, it will get better. There are many forgiveness techniques that a person can use. I recommend trying several different techniques to see what feels right to you at the given moment. This time you may utilize several different techniques alternating them. When I work with people in individual sessions, I practice techniques where I serve as a guide and helper. These techniques are easier to do with someone guiding you than by yourself. Now let's look at several different techniques that we can do on our own. There are many of them. What I am showing you today is a sample that can serve as a good starting point. I will mention a few writing techniques and we will experience two imagery techniques with verbal component. While doing these techniques or any other forgiveness work, we may choose to think about the person that we are planning to forgive as our teacher. It may offer different perspective and make the process easier. I consider writing as a wonderful tool for self-healing. Regardless whether you do forgiveness work or any other healing work, when it comes to forgiveness, you can use Radical Forgiveness book, which was written by Colin Tipping. It has several instruments utilizing writing to help you in the forgiveness process. For example, one of the instruments is writing a release letter that proclaims to your higher self that you will give full permission for all aspects of resentment to be lovingly released. You would write, I do hereby forgive, then you would write the name of the person. I release him to his highest good and set him free. I bless him for having been willing to be my teacher. This also serves as an instrument of self-forgiveness, since it recognizes that you have reframed the experience as a way to learn and grow. Another very effective writing tool is to write 490 times the following sentence. I, then you state your name. Forgive, then you state the name of a person whom you are forgiving. For, then you state the problem. And then you say, and release him to his highest good. For example, if someone named Jennifer chose to work on forgiveness related to her father, she would write. I, Jennifer, 
forgive my father for not playing with me when I was little, and release him to his highest good. After that, she would write a second sentence that would start with, I, Jennifer, forgive my father, and then it would state another reason. It will sound like this, I, Jennifer, forgive my father for not giving me ice cream at the party at Joanne's house when I was little, and release him to his highest good. As you see, I state a different reason for forgiveness at the second sentence. Every sentence you write, you would put a different issue that you would want to forgive that person for. And you do that 490 times without break. Just continuous flow of thoughts and writing them without interruption. It may take on average four hours. It is recommended that you start forgiveness with your father, followed by the mother, and followed by self-forgiveness before you start forgiving other people. You will have to write 490 sentences related to your father, each stating a different issue you want to forgive him for. Once you finish with the father, at a different day and time, you would do the same for the mother and at a different time for yourself. Another technique is simply to write a letter in whatever way you desire to write it, stating all the feelings you had towards a specific person and burn the letter in the end. It will allow bring you new feelings and emotions to the surface and outside of your body, starting healing and cleansing process for you. There is also another technique that I would like to mention. It's ancient Hawaiian practice, which is Ho'oponopono process. You can use that for forgiveness. It utilizes repetition of four phrases. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. You can get more information about it on the internet or from books. I just want you to be aware of it. It is a great tool for healing and restoration. Let's now experience together forgiveness meditation. Please take a moment to think of a person that you want to forgive. Since you haven't worked with this process before, and we have limited time today, Please choose someone who, can you, who you can easily forgive. Maybe it's someone who cuts you off in traffic, or a paper boy who threw your paper too far away, or a person who emailed you something you didn't want to see. As you're thinking about such a person, please get comfortable in a quiet place. Please get comfortable and close your eyes. We are going to do this process with your eyes closed. Take a nice deep breath. Slowly inhaling through your nose and slowly exhaling through your mouth. Take one more deep breath in, slowly inhaling through your nose, and slowly exhaling through your mouth. That's wonderful. Take one more deep breath in, slowly exhaling. Please bring into your mind an image of a person whom you like to forgive. It can be your boss, friend, relative, child, clerk in the store, a person who hurt you or a person whom you hurt. If you don't know what the person looks like, just ask for an image to appear and work with that image. Imagine that person standing in front of you.
Look at that person. How does this person look? What is the person wearing? Do you see the person well or the image is blurred? What do you want to say to that person? Forgive me or I forgive you. The first thought that comes into your mind is the right one. And now say to that person silently in your mind, Forgive me and I forgive you. And I forgive myself in the relationship with you. And I forgive and let go all the negative issues that were between us. I forgive myself for all the feelings, emotions and uneasiness in the relationship with you. I forgive and let go all that is not love in our relationship. Imagine that into your body and the image of that person comes purple flame. Now say silently in your mind, I ask the purple flame to clear out all feelings and emotions in the relationship with you. I ask to clear out pain, resentment, envy, hatred, jealousy. Clear out everything that is not love in our relationship. I forgive and let go all this. All that hinders my growth, freedom and love. Now imagine that gold and pink rays of light enter through the top of your head and fill you with all the qualities that you have lacked in the relationship with that person. Say to yourself and that person that you give yourself as much light, love, support, freedom, attention as you lacked in the relationship with that person in all your previous lives. Allow the golden light to fill every cell of your body with love light and warmth. And now imagine the gold ray of light entering through the top of the head of the person standing across from you. Say to the person, I give you as much light, love, warmth, forgiveness, acceptance, support as you lacked in the relationship with me in all previous lives. Allow the golden light to fill every cell of that person's body with love, light, forgiveness, freedom, and worms. Say silently, I ask the universe to restore the field of love between us in all our relationships in previous lives.
say to that person, I am grateful for all that was between us and for all that wasn't between us. For all that you were for me and for all that you weren't. And for all the lessons of love you have given me. Imagine bowing to that person. Now please take a deep breath and as you exhale, please open your eyes. Welcome back everyone. Just stay where you are. In a moment we are going to experience one more imagery. Please take a moment to decide who you want to forgive. You may use the same person again or someone else. Please continue staying where you are and now close your eyes and take a nice deep breath. Slowly inhaling through your nose and slowly exhaling through your mouth. Please keep your eyes closed and take one more deep breath. Slowly inhaling through your nose and slowly exhaling through your mouth. That's wonderful. Imagine a person in front of you with whom you had a conflict and you want to forgive. At some point during the meditation, I will ask you to say that person's name. Now in your mind, repeat the words I will be saying looking at the person. At all times, please keep your eyes closed. Just focus all your attention on the person and repeat the words that I am saying. Almighty Creator, forgive me for everything. Planet Earth, forgive me for everything. People, I am forgiving you for everything, loving you and letting you go in peace. People, forgive me for everything, love me and let me go in peace. I forgive myself, I love myself, I am love and light, I am light and love. Now say the name of the person you want to forgive and repeat, I am forgiving you for everything, loving you and letting you go in peace. Say again the name of the person you want to forgive and now repeat, forgive me for everything, love me and let me go in peace. Almighty Creator, clear out all that is negative on all levels and fill me and all my ancestors with your divine love. All the channels between us and all the people fill with your divine love. I am Divine Consciousness and Divine Love. Almighty Creator, save and keep my soul. Almighty Creator, thank you for everything. Now please take a deep breath and as you exhale, please open your eyes. Forgiveness process usually takes time and requires repetition until you fully forgive someone. And every time you use it, 
you let go of some negativity, you raise your vibrations and bring yourself closer to health and harmony. If you would like to do more work around forgiveness or work on other issues you may be experiencing in your life, I will be glad to assist you on your healing journey. Please call Healing Within Office to schedule your appointment. Thank you everybody for joining me tonight. <music>